I tell you what, Nate, if you'd have done that any better, I'd have thought I'd have did it. All right. If you'd have done it, we'd be doing it again. Dang. <laughs> What's up guys, Garrett Chapel here with 910 Outdoors and man, it's a hot one today. But, good news is we're back out here to work on the trailer. Just gotta keep plugging away. Just turned July, so summer's in full force. We ain't got much time left. Count down the days to September 1st, so we gotta get her done. Uh, we're over here today at Nate's to get back after this electrical work and hopefully, fingers crossed, maybe about to get it wrapped up but we'll see let's get into it so i think we're going to start with the side led lights on the trailer we got these little i guess they're like six seven inch seven inch leds um we got two of these um so what they're going to do is they're going to go on the side um come here i'll show you so basically the thought behind this is we're going to have one of those small lights go above this door here and then the other one will just fall somewhere in here um, this is basically going to just be able to light up this side of the trailer that way when we're chunking decoys out the side door um, we'll just kind of have this little area lit so let's get her done somewhere right on this third rivet row pretty much about the same distance as this light is from the front Gatorade break hydrate yeah. I think that actually looks pretty, pretty good. Pretty even to be eyeballing her. Right. Now we just gotta get them wired up and the exterior, actually all the lighting will be done after this. So we'll get that done and move on. Almost right. Might take a little waller. <laughs> I didn't even told anybody about this. this. This is a secret. This is secret squirrel stuff. Something to charge your phone with. And right there in the middle is a voltmeter for our battery. Plug your phone in, throw it up in the cubby. Underneath that, does anybody really use these anymore? Probably not. But it came with it. <laughs> but it came with it, so we're going to put it in the trailer. And in case you didn't think we had enough switches, we got one more that's going to go right down there. The main reason we did this, <laughs> having a voltmeter to where we can test how much battery we got, yeah, we want to have a voltmeter to test the battery, but and then the whole plugging your phone thing in, that was just a plus. That's just kind of a bonus. So, so why anyway, not? we figured we might as well throw this in there while we're uh, wiring up these lights. Testing her out. Well, all right. So we should have interior lights, a backlight. Damn. She on and she on. It's nice when stuff works first try, ain't it? Right. Hi. 
tire red road. So this was the light that came in the trailer. Um, but since we added our own lights, we took it off. Nate had a good idea of taking this light. We're going to mount it in this box. That way, if we ever got to work in here, we got some light that we can uh, light up inside of it. So we're going to make use of it. Well, that way, I just need to stick it up in there. Okay. I got a little light in there. How about it? Look at that. It was getting a little dark to work in that We're dark already hole. prepared ourselves to work on this thing <laughs> broke down. At least we're thinking ahead of, that's right. ahead of, ahead of time. So that's what was... This is the light that was like supposed to light up this whole this, trailer. Right. That little thing there is all they had in here. Uh-uh. I like mine better. All right, guys. Well, we got more electrical ground covered. It's about to get dark, so I wanted to do this really quick just to run through everything that happened today. Uh, the light bar up there, of course, you've seen that. Uh, the lights up here, you'd seen those. And that's kind of where we had left off. Um, so first off, we'll start with outside. So we got those two and today we added these side lights right here. They're a little spottier than we thought they would be, uh, but we want to wait till it gets completely dark and kind of see what it looks like. I think they'll still work, but just a little different than we were hoping. Um, and then here, finally got all three switches wired. So one switch is interior lights, the other switch is the back, back light, and the third one is the side lights. Then of course our inverter, and then we added this today, mainly for the voltmeter, and then it's got USB plugs, we can charge phone, whatever, uh, cigarette lighter, and then that's just a switch that powers it. And then Nate just threw in a little bonus here with the whole interior light of the, uh, Oh, electrical closet. So when we need to work on it, we got lights in there. So she coming along. We getting close. All right. I now I'm hungry. We're down to <laughs> down to solar, but I think That's our bellies are getting in the way right now. So they always do. 